Start by playing your right hand in a G position, playing B, G, G, rest, G, G, rest, G, B, D, then walking down. Then do the same rhythm, starting with your fourth finger on C, A, A, rest, A, A, rest. Now change your thumb to A, C, E, walking down. Counting by threes, we start by placing our left hand in a G chord, one, two, three, then playing just the thumb for three counts, again, and again. Now we play a 5-7, which is an F sharp, C and D, then playing the D again by itself, one, two, three, four, five, Six. Putting hands together, I think, can be pretty fun. Put both of your hands in the G position, and we start off together. Right, right, left. Right, right, left. Right, right, together. Walking down. Now do the same thing in the 5-7 position. Together, right, right, left. Right, right, left. Change positions. Together, walking down. The next two measures repeat from the very beginning but instead of being in a G position because of the last two measures, we will be in an A position. Playing our second finger on B, stretch to your thumb, and move back to the G position. Rest, G, G, rest. G, B, D, walking down. And then the C, A, A, rest. Pinky, D, C, B, G, G, G. The left hand is also very similar. We have our G chord, D, D, D. Then we move to our 5-7 chord, D. Then back to our G chord. Together, we start in the A position with our right hand and the G position with our left hand. We have our second finger on B. Stretch your thumb. Left, right, right, left. Now you should be in the G position, together, walking down. Move to the 5-7 chord with your C, A, A, left. Now from the D, walking down, together, G, G, G. Keep in mind, measures 9 through 16 are identical to measures 1 through 8. Let's play through it. A good tip to know is place your right hand 
in a fourth position, G with your thumb, third finger on your C, fifth finger on your E. Starting with your C, G, G, rest, G, G, rest, G, C, E. Now moving back to your first position, B, G, G, rest, G, G, rest, G, B, D. The left hand follows the same positions as the right hand. We have our G, C, E. This is our fourth position. We play them together, then thumb by itself, back together for six counts. Now for the second half, we move back to the G position, thumb by itself, and G position. Putting this together goes like so. We have together, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, right. Then we move to the G position, together, right, right, left, right, right, left. Place your right hand in a G position, playing C, A, A, rest, A, A, rest, A, B, C. Now we have C, A, A, rest, walking down from the D, skip your A, G, G, G. With the left hand, you will place it in a 5-7 position, F sharp, C, and D, together, thumb by itself, again, together, and again, thumb by itself, and finish it off with your G position. Together, we go left, right, right, left, walking up. Now the second half, we stay in the 5-7 position, C in 5-7, left, walking down from the D, together, G, G, G. Measures 25 through 32 are identical from the last two sections you've learned, measure 17 through 24. Let's play through it starting in our fourth position. G position. Now 5-7 with the C. Five, seven again. G position. Congratulations, you have completed the entire song. Let me take this time and tell you the order on how it goes. We have part A, then you repeat part A again. Next is part B, and you repeat part B again. After that, you play part A one more time and you are finished with the whole song.